I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. I love it! Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend, I am tackling a bathroom. And admittedly, a bathroom is a lot in just two days, but this specific bathroom has pretty good bones to it. It just needs a major style overhaul to fit this family better. The family has twin five-year-old boys that share the bathroom, and then they also use it for guests as it's the only hall bathroom that they have. So this weekend, we don't need to do a massive overhaul of anything structural, but we are gonna add loads of style. Well, it is bright for sure. Please tell me you didn't pick this paint color. <laughs> no, we just moved in a few months ago, and yeah. this is a priority for us to get rid of this color. Hi, I'm John. And I'm Julia. We're so excited that Monica's here this weekend to help us with our boys' bathroom. So our bathroom really is kind of the tale of two stories. There's this beautiful black and white tile, and I'm obsessed with these knobs that are in the shower. But then there is this horrendous orange and this flickering light that is like the ghost of Halloween, and something has to go. We just moved in about four months ago, and we have a lot of renovations to do. We knew we were going to have to do the kitchen. Our basement flooded. That was not a project that we wanted to do. It's pretty much a fixer upper and we just are so happy to have help for one space that'll get done in a weekend. I know you want to change the style in here but you're really looking for like you said storage and organization and functionality. Talk to me about what you need and what this bathroom is going to be used for. We have two five-year-old boys. They have toys. We can't even put towels in here. There's nothing that we can keep in here. So they're sharing this bathroom every day, all day, getting ready. Yes, and it's also our, our hall bath for guests. So okay. it's a, a multifunctional room. Got it. So we're not like going rubber duckies over the top kid theme, <laughs> but we still want it to be kid friendly in here. Exactly, yeah. Okay. I think we just want to bring it back to make it more modern, but maintaining some of the original features okay. that it has. This is an old home, and we want to stick with Ooh. that. That's so funny. <laughs> right on cue. I thought we could have a dance party. Strobe light. Yes, clearly. <laughs> what do you think of the strobe light? The kids love it. Do you want me to let that stay, or do Please. I? Okay, I get it. Your house is old. It just proved that to us. Exactly. It might also be haunted, but that's just, I'm going to let you decide. <laughs> So, as always, I have five projects planned for the weekend and they kind of span over functionality, organization, style, and just kind of enhancing the things that you already have going on in here. A bathroom in a weekend is a big challenge, yeah. but thankfully so many things in this bathroom already function really well. So we're focusing on like storage and cosmetic issues. So, yeah. totally doable. We're, we're excited. Ready. Yeah, we can't this wait. sounds great. Good. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm anxious to see what the homeowners think about the paint color that I've chosen to cover up this orange. They say that anything will be better than the orange, but I hope they're on board with my choice. All right, you ready to get rid of these mac and cheese walls? I cannot wait to get rid of this color. I decided. I think it looks just like macaroni and cheese. Yeah. And not the homemade mac and cheese. Like, we're talking from the box. <laughs> oh, yeah, the powder and everything. <laughs> yes, yes, it's totally like the powder. Exactly. So I am ready to get rid of this. But I'm also excited to see what you think about my replacement for mm. it. So, I can't wait. Yeah, so let's take a peek here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna show you the new color, but do you have like, what would you paint this? I mean, with the white and black tile, probably something, I don't know, in the neutral white family, okay. maybe? Yeah. yeah, I think we're totally on the same yeah. page. Yeah. Ready? Sure. Let's totally see on it. the same page. I'm ready. Hold on, the suspense. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's like a deep charcoal gray color. Yeah, it's Amazing. actually on the wall going to yeah. read very close to black when it dries, to be okay. honest with you. I'll have to trust you on this one. Yeah. So I totally lied <laughs> about being on the same page. We're on the opposite pages. Here's the thing. You have a lot of white going on up here, right. okay? And I think that it's going to look really cool, masculine for the boys, if we put black up there. Okay. I could have done white, and yeah. to be honest with you, I thought about it, but I felt like this room can handle a little bit of bold. Great. Is Julia going to freak out? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she likes lights and neutral colors, so this is going to be a big, bold shock to her. It yeah. is. So let's get it on the wall fast before she can stop Yeah, us. I'd like to see what it looks like on the wall. 
I think John was expecting to see something like really light and bright and maybe even airy in place of the orange. I do not think he was expecting to see a really deep, dark color. All right, so how are we feeling? It's very refreshing. I mean, I like, I like the color. It looks good on the wall. It is an improvement, but I am anxious to see what you think when all the walls are this dark color. But I pretty sure that all you're gonna do is gonna make the white seem even brighter. Okay. So many people are terrified of dark paint colors. The thing of it is they can work fabulously when used in the right room and with the right complementing features. Just wait till you see how this white tile pops once the paint is on the wall. I'm actually really excited to see what Julia thinks of this paint color, but she's gonna have to wait to see until tomorrow. All right, ready to get started on the project? I am. I know that John and I had fun painting the bathroom. You haven't seen it yet. As long as the orange is gone, I'm happy. It's gone, it's definitely gone. I think you're really gonna like it. Your husband thinks you're gonna like it too. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> I can promise you this, the orange is gone. You That's literally good. will never have to see that color again. We've been again. together 20 years, so he knows what I like and he don't like. He knows what you like. So what we have here are plumbing supplies, and we're actually gonna make a DIY Shower curtain rod. Oh, awesome. You Much needed, needed. yes. <laughs> We're gonna make this super secure for the boys. We're actually gonna attach into both walls and the ceiling. Oh, I wow. think that's where the curtain rod was going wrong before. It was just attached on the ends and then that corner, I mean, it was guaranteed to fall down. I thought that doing it in copper would look really cool, kind of give it a unique look. And also, copper versus like black pipe, the hooks are gonna slide a lot better. It's smoother, so it's a perfect surface so that oh, wow. hopefully it's easy all around for everyone and it looks good. Okay, so we need to make a couple cuts. And to do that, we're gonna use this little pipe cutter. It's okay? very cute. So, it is cute, isn't it? <laughs> so you're gonna think it's even cuter after you've used it. So I have a line marked of where I want it to be. And this has a little cutting blade. And then I'm just gonna clamp it on, basically, but not too tight. We're gonna spin it. Okay. Okay. See how we're cutting down, grooving into the copper now? Yep. Oh, okay. Hooray. So you have your nice clean cut. Very cool. So this long piece is the length of the shower, okay? And then we're putting a 45 on. So they sell these pre-done angles already. All right, so this is our layout, but we can't leave it just like this. It's not secure enough. So now is where the soldering comes in. So this is plumbing flux. What it does is it basically cleans the pipe and allow the solder to adhere and for it to take. So it's an essential step, can't skip it. All right, now is when we're gonna need our eyewear because the next step is to actually heat up the pipe. Little blowtorch. We're heating the pipe so that this solder will turn to liquid. We need to get it to a certain temperature and the solder, what it will do is it's basically gonna suck into all the cracks and create a permanent bond. How hot does that get? So in order to melt the solder, we actually have to get it like close to like 800 degrees, which wow. is pretty hot. Thanks. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. That should do. All right, that's gonna be a little hot, so don't okay. touch it. We're pretty much done here with the shape of the rod, but the one thing we're gonna wait on is the vertical, because I have a feeling that your ceilings won't be perfectly level. So we'll attach this in, make any adjustments that we need to when we get in the room, but pretty cool, right? Yeah, I can't wait to see how it looks in the bathroom. And I think it's gonna be totally more functional for the boys, much more solid. Great. Our last project for today is our biggest build that will add some much needed storage and counter space to the bathroom. Okay, cool. So we have all of our wood cut down. We are actually going to build a custom vanity for you guys. Oh, wow. Gone is gonna be the pedestal sink. Um, it's like the king and queen of impracticality right there. More storage. So, more storage for sure. And I thought that instead of just buying something, that it'd be cool to make something and we can customize it a bit. That sounds great. Yeah, okay. I'm excited about it. I'm hands on, so bring on the power tools. You're hands on. Are you handy? I am, I'm very handy. My friends called me the grease monkey back in the day. Oh, did they? Yeah. All right, well, grease monkey, here we go. This is what we're gonna build. Super, super simple build, okay? We're gonna use these four by fours, these chunky guys for the ends. Gonna make it really sturdy. Okay. Um, we're gonna do shelving here and a solid top. Now, we're gonna keep open shelving there. Okay. So you're still gonna have a ton of storage because we're gonna put baskets and things, but I've found, at least with my kids, if it's closed storage, my kids literally just chuck stuff in it right. and they're like, mom and dad won't it's ever see it. It's just yeah. everywhere. But if I can keep it open and it's baskets, they tend to put it away where it goes and it just looks a little bit better. That's great, okay? organizationally key, yeah. So we are gonna use the pocket hole jig to put holes in the two bys and the four bys. 
I'm busting out the old pocket hole jig. This cool little tool allows me to hide screws by creating strategically placed holes in the wood where the screws can live and do their job, but you can't see them from the outside. It's perfect for building furniture where you want to have a clean finish with no screws showing. So to start with, we're going to take the two ends. This is going to be the end of our vanity. I have these thin little pieces of wood that I'm going to put down here and basically rest my pieces on so it has an even reveal. Nice. So it's tucked in yeah. and that way we don't have to measure each one. Okay, so then, see? Oh, it looks great. Looks yeah, great. beautiful. Can't even see how it's attached, but it's in there really securely. Nice. Okay, so now that we have both of our ends assembled, we're going to connect them together, basically finish the framework. Again, we're gonna use these little guys in here to make sure that our reveal is the same. Let's stand this fella up. We got ourselves a vanity. Great, look at that. Pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as far as in here, what we're going to do is use slats here. And actually, we're going to use this exact same piece that we've been using to get our spacing. To space it out, okay. And then we're just going to use the nail gun and we'll pop a few nails in. All right, so we have all of our slats, so let's grab our top. This is just a project panel. It comes, you know, pre-put together. We have it to size. And... Looks good. There's our vanity. Very nice. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks good. Not too hard to build. No. I feel like it's going to look... Awesome. So obviously need to add sink and I'm going to finish this up. We'll paint it and good storage for the boys, right? So much more. Yeah. Two levels of storage. Really nice top. Looks yeah. good. I couldn't have done it without the grease monkey. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Carpenter John Paul is starting our Sunday by finishing the vanity with a coat of black paint and a couple coats of polyurethane. It's going to look perfect against the white subway tile, just like the new wall color, which Julia is about to see for the first time. Fingers crossed. All right, you ready to see it? I am. Big moment of truth. Can't sharing. wait. Here we go. What are you think? Oh, wow. I love the color. You do? Yes. What do you think? I think it's great. It's not light and bright. It's the opposite. It's black. But this is light and bright. Exactly. See, that's what I told you. She likes it. She likes it. I do. I love it. Nice black work. Walls. We did it. Good job. All right. <laughs> it's not black. It's gray. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the name? It's a carbonite, honey. Carbonized. Wow. But yes, carbonite. Yes. And carbonized. And what we what we're gonna do today is actually add a little bit of a technique over the top of it. It's not gonna stay stark black anymore. Okay. okay. We're actually gonna make our own stamps that we're gonna use on the wall. We're gonna stamp kind of in horizontal pattern across the wall. Okay. So right now this room looks awesome, but it doesn't feel super kiddish. So we're gonna add a little bit of whimsy, a little bit of like imperfection into the space that makes it more kid friendly. Awesome. Okay? okay. So to make these stamps, I hit up the craft store, okay? And got, these are just foam sheets. They're like, I don't know, 50 cents, 99 cents, something like that. What we'll do is, trace our bowls. I don't want full circles. We're not doing polka dots. We're doing half circles. So the cool thing with this is that we're literally using like plastic bowls and coffee cups. So now what we're gonna do is just cut these out. Basically, this is gonna be the shape of our stamp. Now, this is a little flimsy. It's easier to work with if we create almost a backing for it. So what I have is some foam core, and what we'll do is we will cut a little backing square for each one of our stamps. Simply put glue on the back of our stamp, and we're gonna put it like pretty much at the right at the bottom. So while these dry up, we're gonna move on to the next step. And that's actually, we're going to create some temporary horizontal stripes on the walls so that we can keep our stamp straight. From the bottom of the tile, we're gonna measure up six inches. So we're gonna go six, 12, do your math, keep going. We're gonna use our tape measure and a chalk line. And then from there, we'll put some painter's tape on it. All right, so we're gonna stamp. We're all ready for that, but you ready to see the color? Yes. Let's see it. Can't get any darker, right? No. no. Darker, really. <laughs> is this where we bring the this orange back? This is where back? I bring the orange back. Ready? Yes. Oh, oh I love right. it. What you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going with the white. It's going to really make the tile pop even more. It'll kind of tie the two together. 
The stamp technique is really easy. Just brush a light coat of paint onto the stamp, then press it onto the wall and hold for a few moments. The idea here is that when you take the stamp off, it's going to be imperfect, and that's okay. We're not going for solid paint. We want some of the dark color to show through in spots. It's all part of the look. I wasn't quite sure when you were explaining it, but now that I see it all in person, it looks great. Yeah, I get that underwater like bubble feel. It looks good. It's, it's appropriate for a bathroom. I think it's cool, but it's time for you to go and me to pull everything together. John Paul and I are going to get this space finished up and then we'll reveal it to you. Oh, great. wow, this is it. All right, so here's what's going on. I am waiting for John Paul. He is up in the attic. We totally drew straws and he got the short one. He's up there and gonna fish down a wire to me because we need to light this new vanity area. Before there was only one ceiling light. That's just not great for getting ready. So we're gonna have a new vanity light that goes right here. But first we gotta get the wire down. All right, coming on down, you ready? Okay. I'm not quite tall enough, but I hear it. All right, how about now? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, you good? I got it, wait, got it. All right, take like eight inches out. That's probably good. Got it, got plenty. All right, excellent. Whenever you're dealing with anything electrical, you always wanna make sure to shut the power off so we have, these are not hot at all. John Paul and I can touch them and we're not gonna get zapped. Have fun up there? Yes, I did, <laughs> it was a blast. So now that we have the wire, John Paul is gonna run it through this box and this is a remodel box because this isn't new construction. So we're dealing with what we already have in there. Once he has that secure, we're gonna attach the mounting plate directly onto the box. So we're not really dealing with the wires yet, but we have them stripped down and we're gonna feed them through the side of the mounting plate. Okay, first thing that he's done on the mounting plate is attach the ground wire to the green screw. So G to G is the way to remember it. All right, so what we're doing now is stripping the plastic coating or the insulation off of the wire so that you can actually reveal like half inch of the wire. And now we turn to our actual light fixture. So just like what we have in the wall, there is a ground and that looks like the copper color. There is a white, which is your neutral and your black, which is hot. So we're using wire nuts to connect each of our wires together. The ground to the ground, the white to the white, the black to the black. You just basically put it in and twist it and it does the work for you. So now that everything's attached, all we have to do is tuck everything in. You place the light fixture over your mounting bracket and that's why the mounting bracket and the light fixture come together. The holes are perfectly lined up and then we just cap them with the little screw heads that came with the light also. There's a lot of light bulb choices out there and really the color tone of your light bulb is gonna make an impact to how your paint colors look. So for this room, I really want it to stay true to the black and the white and the really dark charcoal and so I'm going with daylight bulbs, but really it's just a matter of preference. All right, hit it. Ooh, look at that. Love it, looks good. I really like the brass with the black and white. Very classy. Very classy. All right guys, bathroom in a weekend is possible and on the count of three you guys can check out the finished product. Ready? One, two, three. Open up. Oh, oh wow! Cow. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Looks great. I love I like it the yeah. black. <laughs> Look at the organization now we have underneath. I know, that looks great. it's so much storage. It's yeah. great. It's so bright too. I love the lighting. That looks great. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't so sure about the bubbles as we were doing it, but it looks amazing. Yeah. And I love that it matches the panda's ears. Pandas are one of my favorite animals. Nah. Which I like. What are now, the odds? <laughs> yeah, when we did the stamp treatment, it can seem like a bit much. And also you notice more the imperfect perfection. Then once you layer in the vanity mirror and the light and the art, it all just works. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I love, love the it. bronze touches too on the lighting. That's mm -hmm. great. So we have like a mix of metals in here. We have some bronze, we have the copper. How do you feel about that? Is it like that it. we it's made that? I, yes, I made a pipe. <laughs> a oh. cute little pipe. But this is going to be so, I mean, it is so yeah, secure for the boys. It is cool. not going anywhere. And then we did double curtain so that it closes all the way around. Oh, perfect. Yep. Now that I know you can solder copper together, I'm expecting a lot more. More. I'll do the hard ones in the kitchen. You're gonna be Grease Monkey Jr. Yeah. <laughs> no time. <laughs> Mrs. Monkey. Mrs. Grease Monkey. <laughs>
I think we did a really good job combining a kid-friendly space that will grow with your boys, but also a space that's sophisticated and you'd be comfortable having guests in here when they're staying with you as well. Absolutely. The black and white gives it a sophistication, and then, I mean, panda bears and bubbles, I mean, it doesn't get any cuter than that. <laughs> what do you think the kids are going to think about it? I think they'll like it. All right, so why don't you guys get the boys? Okay. All right, let's go. Come over and check it out. If you stand on your tippy toes, you can see yourself in the mirror. What do you think? Tippy toes, all the way up, there you go. Oh, there's a handsome kid. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the wall? Yeah, I like it. Are those bubbles? There you go. Yeah. Do you know that your mom and dad painted that? And your dad built the vanity, and your mom, look guys, it got you a new shower rod up here that's not broken. Your mom made that. Is that true? It's true. Yeah. She used fire and pipe and she made it. It was a pretty cool weekend. You guys have your own bathroom just for you now, except for when guests come. Will you let them use it too? Yes. Can I get a high five? You think it's pretty good? Whoa, back five. What do you guys want to say to Monica? Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> you are you are very welcome, boys. Thank you. Well, you are welcome. Well, it was a fun weekend, but I'm out of here. This is your bathroom now, okay? All right. All right. Awesome, thank you. On to the next project. On to the next one. Well, that's another Weekender Makeover down the drain. See what I did there? Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode of The Weekender. We have more awesome projects coming your way. This weekend, I'm in West Orange, New Jersey, helping out a young family with their basement. Open your eyes. Oh my God, are you Whoa. kidding me? Whoa, <laughs> what oh is God. this? Oh my God. <laughs>